Hello to my beautiful subscribers. Welcome back to my channel. This message is for Capricorn. Sorry, y'all. I got to fix my clothes. So let's see what's going on. Spirit guys, universe, ancestors of the highest white light. Please give me clear and precise messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Ooh. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what is going on. Let's see what's going on. Ooh, my back hurting all of a sudden. What the heck? So somebody definitely could be pulling on your energy. Pulling on your sacred energy. So somebody is all up in your energy. That's probably why I got tired all of a sudden. I was like, let me finish off these signs so I can go to bed. Okay. If I do one more sign after this, it will be Pisces. And then I only have Sagittarius and Aquarius to do. Woo, why you see the Empress out here? Knight of Cups, King of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles, Six of Swords. Three of Pentacles. Ooh. So somebody is planning to bring something to you. Let's see. Yeah, the high priest is at the bottom of that. <clears throat> you don't even know this. This is a secret Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Eight of Swords. Hmm. I don't know why I heard somebody want to take you to a hotel. Somebody want to ask you out. Okay? So somebody might have like some form of a dinner set up in a hotel or something like one of them fancy hotels i'm hearing a suite so somebody definitely is going to ask you out okay they want to take you to like a hotel a suite or something what's this eight of swords the ten of wands hmm Somebody could be like stuck in traffic or something like that. Okay. Somebody might need to put some more air in their tires is what I heard. Two of wands. For some of you guys, if somebody, you're going to go out, but y'all going to have to change the plans a little bit. Or somebody is going to call you and say change the plans. Either you didn't got dressed, you didn't got all dolled up, and now this person wants to change the plans. Now, others of you, if you're choosing to go out tonight, uh, wherever you're going is going to be definitely packed, okay? It's going to be crowded. It's going to be a lot of people. I told you, once you got yourself all dressed and you're looking good, smelling good, feeling good, somebody wants to postpone the, the date or they want to reschedule it, Okay? But it's a location that you and your person is going to go to or that's a location that you and your friends is going to go to and it's going to be definitely packed. It's going to be crowded, okay? It's going to be hard for you and them to find a seating or a table or something like that if y'all going to a fancy restaurant, okay? I don't know why I heard roof pierce or something like that or y'all could just be going to White Waters. What's that? Ain't that South VA? White Waters or something like that? We got the Five of Swords and the King of Cups. Hmm. First off, let's see. What's this Eight of Swords? What's this Eight of Swords first for, for Capricorns? Three of Swords in reverse. What's this Three of Swords in reverse? The Star in reverse. Woo. Hmm. What's the star in reverse with the three of swords in reverse? The king of wands with the five of wands and the two of pentacles in reverse. Mm. Whoo. So if this person was stuck on a situation from their past that they couldn't quite get over 
or release. This person is no longer wanting to heal that situation, okay? Because they have healed from it themselves. And then with the star in reverse, this person could also be into like, could have like some form of bad health, okay? Like, I don't feel as though it's sexually. I just feel as though it's just this person was in a lot of pressure or they just had a lot of built up pressure within them. So it was causing them to be tense. Okay. So be mindful. I don't know who this for Capricorns, but your person, they going to want to, I just see somebody giving a person a massage by the end of the night. Point blank period. Okay. Two of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. Like somebody no longer wants to juggle. They don't, they no longer wants to be a part of anybody's drama. They don't want to go back and forth. So for some of you, this person does want to apologize. And they when they apologize, they're going to ask you out on a date. Okay. This person, once y'all get to that phase of making amends or reconciling or coming together, this person don't want you to bring up nothing from their past, not from your past or from their past, okay? Because they definitely want to start new. They want to start fresh, okay? This person is definitely trying to look past these burdens right here. Yeah, five of pentacles. Because this person feel like just continuing to bring up the past, whether between you or this person, it just defeats the relationship. It defeats the connection. Because you, when you do get in a new relationship, you don't supposed to bring up your past, okay? Because in order to start a healthy relationship with someone new and for things to move forward and move smoothly, you don't bring up your past, Okay? Because then somebody will be thinking more about their past than actually putting in forth the effort towards this relationship. We got two fives out here, the five of swords and the five of pentacles. Even though the five of wands in reverse is like this person is no longer wanting to like go back and forth and put you in competition with their past, okay? Like, this person has a lot of built-up pressure and tension already, okay? So, this person definitely needs a massage, or they need to, like, rest, get some rest. They need to recuperate. What's this Five of Pentacles in reverse? The Seven of Cups in reverse. You will not have to assume when it comes to this person. Okay. What's this five of pentacles? I'm telling you, ace of swords and the empress. And I was thinking that because this person is going to let everybody see and know that you are their empress. My palm is itching, y'all. So this person walked away from all their options. That's why I said you're not going to have to assume with this person because they're going to let you be well known and they're going to let it be a well known fact that you are theirs and they are yours so every time y'all travel y'all go out on a date this person is going to let it be known they're going to walk beside you put their arms around you this person going to hold your hand this person is going to kiss all on you so this person can be the type of person that like public affection like, they like to hold hands. They like to be kissed. Okay? This person likes to show you off. Because they want everybody to know that, yeah, this is me right here. Ace of Swords. Hmm. So, that's definitely a fire sign for you. This King of Wands. Okay? This person, I can hear this person now. Yeah, my bitch bad. I know she bad. Yeah, look at her. Uh huh. That's they be like this person. They like this. <laughs> I can't even talk, y'all. 
this person likes that shit. Let me make sure all my cards is on the right side, y'all. This person like for people to like stare at you or look at you or view you or compliment you. Because it shows to this masculine that you do a good job. That they have done and that they have chose someone that is for them. But this you can tell this person isn't insecure. Whoever this fire sign masculine is, they're not insecure. So they don't mind every now and then somebody checking you out or somebody looking at you. But this masculine will let it be known that you are theirs, okay? So it's like you can look but you can't touch type shit is the energy I'm getting with this person. Give me more. What's this seven of cups in reverse? What's this seven of cups in reverse? justice so this person is balancing their their life out by walking away from these options walking away from having all these different people okay this person is walking away from stringing you along as well that's why the two of pentacles in reverse because they no longer want to keep put you in competition The four wands. What's this five of swords? The page of pentacles. Who is this five of swords king of cups? Who is this five of swords king of cups? Three of wands. Who is this five of swords king of cups? The king of pentacles. Hmm. Give me more on this King of Pentacles, King of Cups, and the Five of Swords. The Hangman and the Hierophant. <laughs> Who is this King of Pentacles? The Magician. So this person could be trying to manifest some form of finances. What's this Magician and the King of Pentacles? The Ten of Swords. Hmm. What's this Ten of Swords? Oh, the Queen of Pentacles and the Devil. Mm, 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 mm. So somebody is trying to ma manifest finances, but they have been depleted of their finances by someone that's very much so codependent on them. Okay, this person could be like emotionally withdrawn right now. Or they could be very emotionally manipulative. Because right now, their headspace is focused on material right now. Their money, their finances, making how they're going to, like, let alone feed themselves or their family or if this person have kids or whatever the case may be. But because whew, this person is definitely being drained. Because, um... This devil energy out here is causing this person to, like, be emotionally withdrawn. Like, that's all I can say. Because you know how they say playing with my money is like playing with my emotions. If you don't feel st secure or stable within yourself, then you're not going to be emotionally secure or stable. Because this person, they know that when it comes to money, it's not about the money with you. They know that, okay? They know the truth about you. Ace of Swords because they see you clearly, okay? This person got 2020 XD vision when it comes to your ass, okay? They got their HD glasses on. They got the virtual glasses on. They got all that shit on when it comes to you because they see you clearly. They know who you are, Ace of Swords. They know that you are the real empress, the true empress. And this person know that finances don't move you. 
Okay? Because with or without finances, you will always be the empress. Okay? Because your abundance for the empress is really your heart space. The love that you give. The love that you exude to yourself and others. That's how you become the empress. As well as the emperor. It's the love that you exude within yourself and the love that you exude to others. It's not always about financial maturity. Because if you get in a relationship with someone and both of y'all heart spaces in the same place and both of y'all heart spaces align with one another, you can be surprised of how many things that y'all can create just by the love that y'all share with each other. Because it'll be something that you you both will enjoy. It'll be something that you both would love to do. <laughs> so say for instance, right? You are an artist. And this person is an artist. One person is a singer. The other person is a rapper. Y'all both love to do the things that y'all do as far as being a singer and a rapper. All it do, all you have to do is to keep the finances coming is by both of y'all putting y'all crafts together and making it as one. Whatever that is for you, I'm just giving an idea, okay? I don't want to get too many ideas and then people will sit up here and be like, oh, well, that's what that that's what we can do and this, that, and the third. No. It's basically by you and your person having the same similarities in, in certain subjects and certain uh criteria is that y'all come together and make it abundant point blank period it's just that simple okay it's not always about who has the most money and who 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 it's not always about that it's really about two creative minds coming together to make one abundant business or two different abundant businesses but Two creative minds once again create these businesses. Like, eh, I mean, come on now. Anywho, but for majority of you, you're already in this empress energy, emperor energy, creating a, a, a self-sufficient lifestyle for yourself in order to maintain and to stay stable and to stay secure. But if one person is lacking in one particular area of their life, it becomes codependent. So you have to be mindful of where you're manifesting it. This man, masculine is manifesting from a material standpoint. So they're going to keep manifesting codependent people. If this masculine manifests from their heart space, what it is that they actually want, what is their heart desires, if it's wanting to be in love or wanting to feel loved or whatever that is, that's what you're going to manifest. But this person is fighting against their emotions because they're so focused and adamant on their finances that they're keep continuing to manifest whoever this codependent ass person that is that they married to, that they're stuck with. This fucking gold digger or whatever they want to be called. I don't care. And it's not my business. But once again, you have to be mindful. That's why they say if your head and your heart isn't aligned or your attentions doesn't align up with your heart space, you're not manifesting. So you have to be mindful, as I always say, y'all. I cannot make this up. How I keep continuing to say the same things because I want you guys to fully get a clear understanding and indication on what manifestation is to you. Manifestation is finding something that you always love and have a passion to do and your mindset has to be aligned with it. Because it's you creating that thought, creating that vision. And then it's something that you passionately love to do. It's something that you always wanted to do. And then you start working on it. You start putting forth the effort. And you start jotting down this, this, that, and the third. Or start mixing and mastering. And then you have your manifestation. When you manifest money and you like, oh, I don't have enough. And I don't have this. And how can I be in a relationship if I don't da 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 You doing it all wrong, me partner. All right, me Padre, like you doing shit all wrong. That's why you keep continuing to manifest these gold digging women and these gold digging men. Because your focus is on the things that you don't have. Instead of focusing on the things that you do have. You have love within yourself, so you're going to have love without. 
So then you're going to manifest that person that you always wanted to be with that makes you feel whole, that makes you feel good within yourself, that makes you feel like that you are worthy and capable of whatever it is that you set your mind to. When you are sitting up here in this space, this head space of not having money or not being able to provide, man, I'm telling you, y'all really need to know how to manifest here now, okay? You know, what y'all be having going on? Y'all be overthinking too much. Yeah, the death card is what it's like. You have to change that mentality that you're in. You're still in like a low vibrational mindset. We got the five of cuts. And then on top of that, it's like you feel lonely. Yeah, you feel lonely because you're manifesting from a space of lack. Oh, excuse me. God damn. What was that? Excuse me. You're manifesting from a space of lack, Capricorn. Now, I don't know if this is you or someone you're dealing with, but we got Libra, Scorpio, Taurus, Gemini, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay? Like, you have to get out of that energy. Yeah, you can say, okay, one by one, I'm over all these different things or whatever the case may be. But you can't be obviously over anything if you keep continuing to go back into that mindset of like, okay, I'm going to reach out to this person. But I ain't got no money. So if I wanted to take him or her out on a date, how am I going to be able to provide for them? How am I going to be able to... And it's like, once you change that of how you're able to do X, Y, Z, spirit will show you ways to manifest money or manifest certain things to happen or to occur in your life. You have to be willing to surrender and let go and let the most high take the wheel. That's why you're stuck. Because you're not leaving it to God. You're not letting God take control 22 22 because you keep wanting to be in control because everything you say is they not going to want me because i don't have this 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 that and the third i don't know who this masculine is but you got to change your mindset baby you really do okay because some of these feminines and some of these masculines that has already ascended and evolved past that like Money is the least of our worries and concerns right now. <laughs> because majority of us has already mastered ourselves to where as though we literally makes money in our sleep. And that money continuously and effortlessly flows to us. So we know how to manifest. Okay? It's like once you know how to manifest for yourself and you fully get your own manifestation down to a T, then money will not be an issue or a problem to you. 2323, money will be the least of your concerns. I'm telling you. And that's what this masculine is getting out of. Damn. Wanting, being more concerned about their finances and being more concerned about their money. And by this masculine being more concerned about their finances, it's putting tricks on them. Because when you not when you don't have the proper finances or the proper security, you feel as though you don't need to be in a relationship. You feel as though you don't need to be with nobody because you cannot provide for them. That's some, that's some form of codependency to still. I'm not saying like, let this masculine come into you and let them bum off of you or let this feminine bum off of you and let them just use you and, and, and take from you and don't uh, give in to you. But that's, a, that's another test as well to see if you're going to put your trust and faith in God or you're going to put your trust and faith into man, finances, shit that don't matter, superficial ass shit. Because that's what spirit... It's trying to get y'all to see and understand. And that's what the most high is trying to get y'all to see. That the abundance lies within you. Once you know your full potential, king of wands or queen of wands, you don't need 
to look outside of yourself for abundance. It's already within you. Just tap in. Because everything that you, your potential, your visions, your dreams, your goals, and your aspirations, it comes from the most high. That's how you're able to be creative. That's how you're able to come up with a thought in order to put that shit into reality. <laughs> Where you think that this stuff come from? Oh, you think you just sit there and you just say, oh, I'm about to do this today. Oh, I'm about to do that today. No. That's that God-like energy within you being stored upon you so you can tap into who you are and you can start creating with the universe. Instead of sitting up here feeling as though you need a nine to five to get back. And you still going to be struggling and you still going to be fucking miserable. You still going to be stressed out. Well, you can do something, create something that is yours in your name and just sit back and watch the fruits of your label, labor and don't have to do nothing. Everything will be set. You just continuing to change it, like transform it each and every year. That's it and that's all. I need some freaking tissue, y'all. Hold on. Excuse me. All right. You just got to get in the hang of what's manif what manifestation means to you. If writing your manifestations down is and, and waiting for them to come into your reality is how you're able to see your manifestations come true, then that's what you need to do. If speaking your manifestations into existence and leaving it to the creator, cool. Whatever it is to you. Majority of us, we do write things down. That's how we're able to manifest. Some of us have already wrote down some things two years ago or a year ago. And now we're just waiting patiently for it to come towards us. That's why I say it. it's like once you already get in the hang of how you manifest and whatever it is that you're manifesting and you just surrender, release and let go and leave it to God and don't even trip and stress and worry and, and do all this extra shit about it. You will see it coming in for you. That's why they say patience is a virtue. If you're in a hurry and the quickness and the fast pace of getting your manifestations or getting things to be like this or getting things to be like that, that's how you're always making errors. That's how you're always causing errors. That's how you're always causing mistakes. So at this time and at this season, my Capricorn, Spirit is wanting you to take some time to really think thoroughly and think through what it is that you're manifesting that you really want because when you manifest from your heart let's get it again it's your heart's desires it's what it is that you're really wanting and that you're wanting to see and create in your reality when you manifest from a superficial standpoint you're going to always manifest toxic energies which lead to attachments, codependency, addictions, okay? Unhealthy patterns, unhealthy people, and unhealthy places, okay? And then you start worrying why you got so many responsibilities on you and burdens and problems and issues is because this is all the shit you manifested. Because remember, you were so focused on money. You like, I want to be rich. I want to be this. I want to be that. I da, 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 kept going. You kept going. And it's like, the most high, like, okay, this person already asked for this, but they keep asking for that. They keep asking for that. They keep asking for that. And then it's like, when all this shit get piled up on you, and it's time for you to, could like, really stand and take control to see if you're able to keep this role in this position by staying in your lane as the Nine of Pentacles, you don't know where to start and you don't know how to do it because 
you was manifesting from a lack. King of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. You knew your potential. You seen your potential. You had potential. But you was using your potential in a from a lower standpoint. Thinking that you have to have all these damn things just to be stable. Just to be secure. When spirit is like, all you have to do is really tap into your emotions. Because your emotions is what really makes sense. Your emotions is what really matters. Because if you don't feel it, it's like it's not going to make any sense. Okay? That's why we have emotions. I just got like some, it's like, okay, I just, this download I just got in my head. I'm going to see how I want to like, Make it make sense for you guys. So you know how we got the wand, the pentacle, the sword, and the cup. Right? So the sword is basically communication. It's our intellect. It's things that we write down. It's things that we say. The wand is basically our passions. Like... Taking the action, taking the drive to do those things, right? So if we speak it and then we take action upon it and we use those same thoughts, actions, and emotions is what makes the pinnacle. You get what I'm saying? Like, that's how you manifest. Like, you got to have all the tools. You can't just have this here and that there and that there. Like, you have to have... All the ingredients, like they said on Friday, I mean, on Skirt Movie, to make a high nigga pie. You get me? You need all the ingredients. You, like, you half assing is what Spirit is saying. Like, you can't do that. Like, you just want to get to the money and that's it. No. That's not how you manifest. You got to have all the tools. You got to have the communication, the skills, the potential, and the, the, the passion, like the, the emotion. Because all these things have to be felt. When you got money in your hand, it's being felt. When you start to pursue your dreams and your goals, it's being felt. When you start to think these, these, these feelings and these emotions is what? It's being felt. Do y'all get me or do y'all not? Like, come on now. I ain't about to keep wrapping y'all up. Like, I just get y'all bits and pieces so y'all just put y'all own puzzle together. Like... In order to manifest, you need every each and every ingredient. The, the pinnacle, the sword, the cup, and the wand. Just having the damn wand and the sword and the pinnacle, that ain't going to get shit. Okay? You cannot mix a wand and a sword together and think that it's going to make magic. No, the fuck is not. Okay? I, I I just know that a sword can cut shit off and... and, and and, and, yeah, it can cut shit off. That's what I see. It's like this, the, 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 the emotions is the main alchemy ingredient, I will say, because everything is felt. Everything is based off emotions and feelings. Because if you wasn't feeling this way or feeling that way, how are you able to think of a thought or think of a feeling or think of an emotion? You get what I'm saying? Like right now, I'm in my passion. So I'm I'm very open to expressing myself to y'all and 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 giving y'all relatable topics or standpoints or or uh, examples so y'all can get a further understanding, okay? So that's me communicating, giving emotion, and then I'm taking action on it. So y'all see me doing, y'all see me acting, y'all see me doing, like being. That's how I'm able to manifest shit into the... I just hope y'all get what I'm saying, okay? Because I don't want to sound like... I'm just all over the place, but if you get it and you understand, then you know how to manifest. Point blank, period. 
Because people make manifestations so hard. Like, you have to do all these different things to manifest. No. That's why not everybody is a magician. Point blank, period. Okay? Motherfuckers could be a sorcerer, a warlock, a, a, a hoodoo, a hoodoo with voodoo, 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 whatever the fuck they want to call it, doo-doo. It don't fucking matter, bruh. Like, you would know if you're a real magician because it comes with that horrifying energy. Okay? You have, what, what Gucci Man say? I, I got visions for days. I take trips for days. Okay? Like, it comes with this horrifying energy in order to be a true magician, a true wizard. Okay? This is crazy. My fucking finger itching. I just hope y'all understood what I was saying. Okay? About that part. Because it's a masculine trying to block out or avoid or withdraw or disconnect their self from their emotions because they want to get straight to the money and that's not how that works. That's just not how they works. This person don't want to feel their emotions. They just want to get to the pinnacle. And no, it's going to lead to a codependent relationship and this man is going to come towards you and be codependent on you and you're going to be the only one that's fending, doing, and taking care of shit. That's not how that work. That's not how that work. This masculine got to come towards you in their emotions. Where it go? They got to come towards you in their emotions, king of cups. So that way they can already know what their potential is. So when they come to you and they're in their emotions, expressing their self, opening up to you, letting you know how they feel, letting you know what they want. Then here comes the passion, passion and water. Fire and water. Fire and water. Okay? Once you bring that potential, that drive, that motivation, that ambition, that, that, that inspiration into emotions, now you have a boss. Okay? Because now you're using all your tools. And that's it right there. Only thing you're missing is the King of Swords. Okay? That's the only thing. But if you really want to really manifest, all you need is that, that, that passion and your emotions. Your passions and your emotions. Okay, to bring in gold, to bring in diamonds, to make pressure. That's how you make pressure. Water and fire. Okay, if you watch Get Rich or Die Try, you see how he took, if I'm not mistaken, he took the ice or it was some form of crystal or something. No, he took the ice and he put it in like some water. He put it in like boiling water and it steamed. And then it turned into gold. It turned into diamonds. It turned into crystal. It turned into rock. Like, do y'all understand what I'm saying here? Okay? Because I'm not about to keep getting deep into the shit. This y'all message, Capricorns. Okay? So, Spirit is like, be the wizard. Okay? Be the wizard. Because some of you guys, you are wizards. And you are very powerful magicians, but y'all want to sit up here and be warlocks and sirens and, and all this other shit. Like, it's nothing wrong with that. But 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 eventually, it's like, that's not who you was meant to be. You only experience that, that part of your life of being a warlock or being a, a sorcerer is because it was something that you had to pay off from a past life. That don't mean you're supposed to stay in there forever. But all right, Capricorns, this is y'all message. Like, share, comment, that's what it's subscribe, and hit that bell notification. Peace.